Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Marvel Superhero Superhero Airport Battle. So this is how far we made it in part one. We have the, the tower built, it's all there. We have uh, three minifigures, we have the airport thing, we also have the micro Ant-Man. So this is um, the part I'm looking forward to. So if you remember the artwork on the box, there's the giant Ant-Man. It's the brick-built Ant-Man. Brick-built minifigure, so that's what's in bag three. So this is one of the main reasons why I bought this set. Because how cool is it to build a brick-built minifigure? Finish opening these bags. Because we do have a actual minifigure. We have Captain America in this bag. So there's his shield. He just has a single printed face, obviously, because it's um, his mask that he's wearing. So that is Captain America. Put him off to the side and let's move on to this cool brick belt figure. So I will kind of full disclosure here say that I actually have seen and had this model in my hands before that someone else built. Um, some friends of mine, I was over at their house one day and they already had it built and was checking it out. So I've seen the final product, it's been a while, it's been probably six months since that date. But I didn't get to build it, I just saw the final product. So this is the fun part of these videos that I do, is uh, we get to see how something is constructed versus just seeing the end product. Alright, so we have some of these little mixel joints. It's basically a one by two plate with the toe ball on it. Have a one by one brick. Then we have a brick with studs on the side. Now we have a Technic brick. Put that in there. Put that in there. This goes here. We have four one by two plates. Two by four brick. wedge plates. So this is basically creating what looks like the back side of the, or it's actually the body. It looks like the whole body of the large Ant-Man figure. Alright, so we have a tile here. And a modified tile the studs on the bottom. The bow shape there. We have 
two more of the double wide bows. One here, one here. So that it's basically the the top portion of a minifigure like this piece right here is that piece right there. And we have two of these Technic pieces. Those are going to be the joints for the legs. Right. Sticker time. Start with sticker number 18. Sticker number 19. Sticker 21 Sticker 20 You can really see the shape of it coming together. So, put that piece off to the side. Now it looks like we're going to build a leg. Start with some plates. Technic brick. slopes, tile, what is that, a two by two plate, gets there, sticker number 15, So there's our first leg, bring the body over, slide that on, hmm. it's pretty interesting, okay, put that guy off to the side, now we're going to do the other leg which should be pretty much identical, just a mirrored copy of it. Technic bricks. Another sticker, just like on the other leg. All right, that's our other leg goes there. How cool is that? Look how minifigure 
macro minifigure. Alright, so let's build some arms. We have the mexel joint. Alright, so that's arm number one. Down off to the side. Our second arm. There's arm two. Now let's build the head. Let's see, we start with a two by four Technic plate. Turn this over. Get this plate. Alright, so we do have a printed element here, which is kind of cool. I always like the printed pieces over the stickered pieces. It's kind of weird though that they... It's, it's interesting on how they decide what parts are going to be printed or not. Not that this one shouldn't have been, it's just... Why not print all the other pieces that had all those stickers on them? So, decisions were made somehow, some, some way, by someone, somewhere. We just are the end consumer, have to deal with it, I guess. Okay. That guy, so you can see the head shape is coming together pretty well. Let's get sticker number 17. Looks like that goes there. His little mask does fold down. Now we have two of these double wide bow shapes. One over there.
two more pieces. All right, so there's the completed head. And all we do is slide it down on that axle. Check that out. That is super cool. It's a big brick built minifigure. And so here's some cool things about this. I mean, obviously it's hard to get the, the hands right because I don't think there's an actual curved piece that kind of looks like that. But if you notice the way a regular minifigure sits down, this guy more or less does the same thing. His legs fold up and then they stop at 90 degrees. So they sit just the same. The other thing that's cool about it is when you push a minifigure's leg back like this, see how it only goes so far and it stops? So you can kind of create them in this little running position. Well, this minifigure does the same thing. The leg will only go so far back and it stops. And it's basically this, this sloped piece back here. It's hard to see it, but it's there and it actually hits the plate back here, so that's what's preventing it from going too far back. So you can actually um, pose it in the exact same running position as a, a big minifigure. So that's super cool. Um, the thing that the arms are a little bit different, because obviously a regular minifigure, they just, you know, rotate along the the body these will actually go out and rotate so they have a little bit more articulation than a standard Lego minifigure does but other than that the body shape is pretty much right on the legs are perfectly right on and then obviously the head obviously this head is wearing the mask and everything so it's a little bit different but if it didn't have that you could argue that the head shape was the exact same proportion to the body and it does rotate obviously because it's on that axle so how cool is that I'll tell you how cool super cool then, so here's a regular standard minifigure standing next to him to give you an idea of, of size <laughs> That's cool. I just want to make an army of these guys, all different figures. All right, so that's going to end part two of this build. We have one more part. We basically have to uh, build the little Avengers jet. So you'll see that in part three. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, if this is what you came here to see, then, uh, you know, hopefully you'll watch part three. If not, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Got a bunch of cool build videos on this channel, so if you like this kind of video, you're in the right spot. Check them all out, and we'll see you in the next one.